What's going on, you guys? I review guys to the channel. Shabro Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for Yasuke. Uh, it's a new Netflix uh, anime series, six episodes, um, uh, with the main character being voiced by Lakeith Stanfield. This will be a spoiler review. I have a non spoiler review. Uh, I did with my boy B.A. Roll on his page at Just My Opinions. I'll leave a link to that in the description box. Y'all go check it out. We had a real good about 20 minute conversation about the, uh, the, 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 the series. And, uh, and like, and also go subscribe to his channel, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I want I, I knew I was going to do a spoiler review on my channel though. So basically getting into this thing, I, first of all, overall thoughts on it, I, I, I did enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. Uh, there were certain aspects of it that I wasn't necessarily expecting. Maybe like the, like the otherworldly type aspect to it, like going to like astral planes, robots, um, superpowers, uh, mythical creatures, uh, super advanced technology. Even if even though it was like feudal Japan, um, dealing with like I don't know, feel like nether realm type deals. All of that stuff. But that definitely didn't hinder my enjoyment of the show whatsoever. Because you have this character, this black samurai, Yasuke, who he goes by in the show. is Yasai. It's pretty much, he's been done with that life for the past 20 years. He's basically just been living like as, as a boatman who's like, go sometimes give fish to the people of the town in which he lives in. He gets caught up in a scenario in which this woman asks for his help to escort them to a to a priest because we come to find out this young lady has powers and our, and our mother or in this case her caretaker was worried uh, about her because there's this priest after her and this priest is just having to hire these four mercenaries. I First of all, I enjoyed the four mer mercenaries. I also, another thing that I was enjoying was the flashback scenes. Uh, one thing that me and B. Avery talked about on our, on our review for it though, it's just every time they did the flashback scene they would give you like these little title cards that you couldn't necessarily read. And you have to pause it and it's still hard to read. But like, I think there was times where like my remote, went, you know if your remote's not sitting right next to you and when you go to like pause something and if, if it gets past that point, you pretty much don't go back. And that was, that's what I was doing if I'm just keeping it a bean. So overall, that was like kind of disturbing because I feel like some of the story aspects of it and some of the like flashback wasn't fully flushed out. So at times where you kind of confused. So I, I'm, as a viewer, I'm only watching it as, hey, this guy used to be a samurai, worked for these people. And of course you had people hating on him like, yo, this guy's a slave. This guy, he's black. Like, yo, th there there was a little, there was time with Nobunaga. I've heard of, the, I've heard of Nobunaga multiple times because I watch a lot of like anime. Uh, but like there was times when he was first introduced to him, when y uh, Yasuke was first introduced to him, he told him his name, he's like, yo, what the hell is that? And there's been situations like that before. Uh, and he's like, like, yo, just give this man a shower. Like, give this man a bath. And he was basically like, it's still dirty. Like, it's not coming off. Like, Nobunaga had never seen a black man before. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know what it meant. Like, and then he was just like, oh, well, cool. I'm just gonna treat him just like everybody else. And people up under him didn't appreciate that. It was like, yo, you, he treats you better than some of his own children. Like, I don't, I don't like that. And like, go back to the old ways where, like, you will forever be a servant. It's like, nah, bro. You just mad. And the whole thing with that guy tying back around to the very end, I actually dug that as well. Um, I enjoyed the fights. They had some very clean fights, especially when it was mainly, like, sword to sword or stuff like that. Or even... Um, I think the first fight we saw with uh, with, with, with Yasuke when the guy was uh, challenged by his, well, his honors was challenged. The, the guy's honor was challenged. And then he was going to like, cut the kid. And uh, Yasuke stepped in and like the guy was using the sword, but uh, he was just using his hand. There was a lot of good fights. Um, like I said, I, I really enjoyed like the Ford Mercenaries because they all had the different personalities. The robot seemed very, very funny. The girl with the scythe was dope and like mysterious. Uh, the other black guy who used like uh, I think it was uh, oh I can't I can't do it. 
I'm, I'm going to learn it, but like the way he did it was too smooth. So I'm going to have to learn how he did that. Like, cause he also used like the spiritual type of abilities that uh, the young lady used. One of the big issues I did have though, oh, and the, and the beast lady, I, I, I thought she was dope. I, it's weird that I thought she was attractive. I don't know. I probably got a problem. It is what it is. Another thing uh, I, thought, I thought that was just kind of strange, though. We find out that this young girl has these powers, and, like, she's the person who's going to take on the, uh, the, 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 it's not the, sh I don't think it was, it's not the Shogun. Um, God, I can't think of what they call the, 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 the lady who was controlling everything. It's just she got, she got a hold of, uh, well, a hang of her powers very fast. Like, at first, it was just like, one, well, matter of fact, when they started chasing her, it's like, yo, she's able to just just do whatever. Like she's, because it seems like she's been sick a while and doesn't really come out. But like she's slide a Johnny tsunami on 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 wire strings and stuff. I'm like, damn, you that cold? You know. So I was just kind of like felt some type of way about that. Um, but overall, yeah, and she, when she got to use those powers, like, she was pretty much unstoppable. She even told, she told Yasuke, like, I don't necessarily need you. I'm strong enough by myself. It's just, I need some company. So I'm just like, damn. <laughs> like, you kind of, you kind of feel for him a little bit. And I like the flashback scenes because it kind of, like, gets you an element of know, like, exactly what was going on with him and, like, the, the, the necklace and everything. And uh, if you don't pay attention, there's also a post credit scene that uh, I actually didn't know about at first until I went back and rewatched. I think B.A. Red told and mentioned it, and I was like, I didn't say nothing about it because I'm like, I didn't know. So I went back and watched that. Um, I like how everything goes down. Like I said, there were certain times, I th I was like, okay, Lakeith, as far as Lakeith Stanfield goes and uh, his um, his voice, I, I think he was good. He kind of gives you like this disgruntled, gritty type vibe to it. Uh, which I think you see a lot more in um, actually Japanese voice acting. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like that. And that. Granted, the first, I want to say like the first episode, there was times where like I could tell like the timing was a bit off where like with this dialogue, because like when you're talking, uh, when you're dubbing over something, you got to make sure where well, the dialogue is like said to be fit. So you're talking as they're talking. And you know what I'm saying? So you're not talking while their mouth is closed or. They aren't talking while you're not saying anything. And there was a couple times that was off, but I think that kind of went away as like this the the show progressed. I don't know. Maybe it was just like early, you know what I'm saying? They didn't catch it early, but you know what I'm saying? Overall it, it, it worked ends up working out. So it's definitely a recommendation for me. Uh I can't wait to see what season two holds. Um another issue I would say I had though is when he died at the end and she brought him back. I didn't necessarily I'm happy that he came back. It's just I wish I would have never killed him in the first place. Because it's like, okay, I get that she's learned how to use her powers, but like, yo, she bring people back from the dead. That was kind of weird to me. But at the same time, just like, I don't, I definitely don't want you to keep him dead. So I just wish they would have found another way to get her to open, uh, break out of her cocoon, which we saw that she was doing. That's what the butterfly symbol symbolizes. And we saw that a lot throughout the show. I just wish we would have did that um, a different way other than like killing him. Um, yeah, overall, really, really enjoyable anime. I know I didn't get like super, super deep in the spoilers. It's supposed to be like a spoiler review, but I just really wanted to just get my overall, uh, more, mainly my thoughts and I like, hit the big points of it. Uh, one, another one of my favorite parts was like when the black guy was like, yo, y'all just sitting here using defense. Okay, it's my turn. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get a dime back for the next one. If you talk about this again, because I, I just like that, it was just like a cool maneuver. When he used like, the, they're all combined to like use their strength and everything. And then he started, he made a, a he made a, uh, 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 he went on the offensive, you know what I'm saying? And, and like those four guys, those four characters, I thought was just cool. I knew they were in it for the money and that was fine. But the moment between the robot and the girl with the scythe, when you see her, she's like, she called him a friend, and he just, and she's dead. He's like, friend? I knew she was dead. I knew for a fact, I, when I was looking at his scanner, and to see, like, how far they were from them, and then I saw where they were, and then I looked up, and, like, it was quiet, and she wasn't talking, and she hit the ground. I'm like, yeah, she's dead. She's dead. I, I don't know why I thought a, bullet, a gunshot or something. I should have known it was uh, an arrow. 
But yeah, that was like kind of crazy. And then uh, when they fought the uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 beast later went out bad. The robot sacrificed himself. He was just like, okay. I, he was pissed off. It was, it was it was a bit of emotion in that moment, and that's crazy for something like uh, of that, that that's meant to not have emotion. I think I like that. You know what I'm saying? Even though. We don't spend a lot of time with them, but like you kind of see, like they 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 get along enough, you know, because you can see like the buddy, the big brother, little sister type vibes from them. So I, I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, can't wait to see what season two of. That that's really my biggest thing. Um, R.P. the Beast Lady too, because she went out in a tragic way, super super tragic. But yeah, uh, you guys check it out if you haven't seen it. I don't know if you, I don't know who would watch this and haven't seen it because this was spoilers in here. So, but uh, yeah, you guys check it out. You said, let me know what you thought about it. if you have seen it down in the comments. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.